changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Hi folks, how are we doing today? Well, I'm doing a quick check out of Fallout 4 today. And it still has the incredibly long load time. Especially if you alter the game with mods. That's problem number one. Ah, uh, Wendy? Sorry about the bad breathing problem. I was having a bad day. But since this I have fixed that long load time problem with the original unofficial patch update. Have that in your load order. It helps. It is working. <laughs> I'll get back to actually simulating games here shortly. Uh, check uh, these rubber mats. Okay, they're hiding everything quite nicely. I want to start turning the power on in locations. Oh, man. It didn't do that again. It did. Okay, now I've got to travel to Concord. Almost there. Once you see Concord there in the lower left, returning, because you set it up so that the once you go to Concord, it activates everything in Sanctuary Hills. As you can tell, I'm having problems breathing. So I'm returning to Sanctuary Hills, getting ready to turn the power back on, getting rid of scrap like this. I like a nice clean place, what can I say? And getting everything set up again to return everything on. If anybody knows a good tavern mod where I can get me a nice looking tavern singer would be appreciated. There we go. Let me make sure that this is all done up. This is what I'm here to do. Now all the houses and condominiums, apartments, whatever, have their own power supply. And all you gotta do is just hook everything up. And I know my breathing's bothering you. 
at this point, that clicking sound. I was having a really bad day breathing at this point. I'll see what I can do about next time. Keep an eye out for these lights. As they change, I'll be modifying the structure of the house. I'll be updating with beds, furniture, and other items here shortly. As you can see, I got one here temporarily until I get everything start, start setting up. That'll be next. Uh, the game looked pretty good in the original vanilla version. Now, the update vanilla version, uh, take a little quick, quick look around here. Right now, I'm kind of looking for a Burger Bird mod that will let me have a landing pad here somewhere. I found one. I'm going to try downloading it shortly. That's what I'm doing right now. Looking for a place for the Burger Bird pad. So I've shortened this quite a bit as you can see. Now I'm taking out the last of the garbage. A blowfly. I want to meet the sick twisted individual who came up with an oversized fly. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, click, and subscribe. And if you could, take a look around the rest of the channel. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I got right, what I got wrong. I can't fix it if I don't know it's broken. And I lost it. Oh, there it is. And just for the record, I spent time in Louisiana. And the cockroaches down there bite and fly. I don't ever want to go back because of it. Thank you.